More money is coming to fire victims with a pledge get or with a pledge that gets money into the hands of those who need it most. The greatest sense of empowerment is being able to have some control when everything seems so out of control and we're calling it the People's Fund of Maui. Guys, wake up. These fires are absolutely controlled. They burn down what they want to burn down and they leave land and properties untouched. Well, darlings, it appears Keanu Reeves isn't holding back anymore. He's spilling the tea on how big Hollywood names like Oprah and our very own Dwayne The Rock Johnson might be capitalizing on the male catastrophe to get some extra cash. And trust us, you'll want to grab your popcorn for what he's about to drop. The Rock is afraid of absolutely everything. To be accountable and stand up to the mistakes you've made. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. Now, for those who've been off the grid, Maui recently faced heart-wrenching wildfires that claimed the lives of 115 individuals in just a few days. Town of Lahaina in Maui destroyed by wildfires. It, it's great to have you under awful circumstances. And like I said to Senator Hirono last night, everybody in the I've talked to and, and seen is, is thinking about folks in Hawaii and, and, and pulling for you. Enter Oprah and The Rock, who in their benevolent stride introduced the People's Fund of Maui, urging fans to open their hearts and wallets to assist wildfire victims. But here's where the plot begins. Whispers about the legitimacy of this fund are spreading like, well, wildfire. So the question that's on everyone's mind, is Oprah, with her alleged ties to the Maui wildfires, truly aiding the victims, or is she sneakily looking to expand her empire in Maui? Hearing the whispers, Kenny lamented, I'm completely heartbroken over this, and I know all of you are too. Everything that I've seen transpire over these past couple of days, everything that continues to transpire hour by hour and minute by minute, it's all heartbreaking. To add more salt to the wound, August Maui fires, responsible for those tragic 115 fatalities, seem to be Hawaii's most disastrous natural calamity. With over 300 souls still unaccounted for and a massive toll on the region, prompting a national emergency, Hawaii is in shambles. Thousands are homeless, looking for solace. And here's where it gets juicier. Amidst the ruin, a little birdie revealed that Oprah possesses a staggering 2,000 acres in Maui. Oprah Winfrey recently bought hundreds of acres of ag land in upcountry. Now, isn't that something? This revelation got a lot of brows raised. Many are questioning the logic behind such an acquisition, especially given the potential repercussions for the indigenous population. Does the queen of talk shows have ulterior motives behind her land ownership? Just when you thought the plot couldn't get any thicker, the queen of talk shows, Oprah, has just unveiled her grand plan to aid the Maui residents. But some are wondering, is this just a ploy to divert attention from her massive mainland acquisition? On August 31, Oprah, along with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, pulled back the curtain on their newest project, the People's Fund of Maui. The aim? To get some cold, hard cash into the hands of those devastated by the wildfires? Every survivor, they promised, would get a sweet sum of 1200 bucks. They took to both Instagram and TikTok to spread the word, proudly stating, Dwayne and I put in $10 million to start the fund. We want to continue for as long as we can. Every dollar that you send is going to go into an account that goes directly to the people. But here's where things get a tad messy. The public wasn't exactly cheering for this billionaire and multimillionaire duo asking the everyday folks to open their wallets. The sentiment expressed by some users in the comments reflects a deep skepticism about the intentions behind Oprah and Dwayne, The Rock Johnson's fundraising efforts. Many commenters sharply pointed out the disconnect between the financial struggles of working class individuals and the wealthy elite's appeal for donations. They questioned why Oprah didn't seek help from her millionaire and billionaire associates, implying that they could contribute substantially more without causing financial strain. Others in the discussion expressed concern that people might blindly donate solely due to Oprah's celebrity status without critically assessing where their contributions would go. They believed that such trust could potentially be exploited for ulterior motives, painting Oprah as an opportunistic figure rather than the benevolent persona many perceive her to be. I'm like, well, how is she making all this money? Oh, because she owns it? And because of syndication? In essence, these comments showcase a prevailing sentiment among some individuals that, despite the grand gestures of celebrity philanthropy, there are deeper questions and doubts about the transparency and sincerity of these fundraising efforts, especially when it involves asking the less privileged to contribute. And if you thought Oprah's intentions were pure as snow, think again. Word on the street is that she's hired top-notch security to keep those wildfire victims far away from her sprawling estate. In one video on Twitter, that spreading like, well, wildfire, shows a user claiming you're so concerned about what's happening in Maui that instead of taking some of that land and housing even a small portion of those displaced people, you've hired a private security team to keep them off. Your land, 
And if that wasn't scalding enough, the user added another splash, saying, you are so concerned about Maui that you are asking the American public, most of whom can't pay their rent right now, to donate the money to your fundraiser instead of actively donating that money and helping. But here's where it gets positively sizzling. Apparently, Oprah and Dwayne's heartwarming pledge of dropping $10 million of their own cash into the fund, just a bit of Hollywood magic. A recent deep dive into the fund's balance revealed a shocking total of just four grand. Jaws dropped everywhere. And even Hollywood's A-listers weren't holding back. Aquaman himself, Jason Momoa, threw some shade at the whole debacle, cautioning about sinister folks disguising their motives behind charitable appeals. He sternly warned his followers, I'm not going to be reaching out to anyone on Instagram to ask for money. I am posting and reposting and reposting as much as possible to the proper places you can donate. I am not reaching out to anyone asking for money. But wait, there's more. The ever enigmatic Keanu Reeves weighed in on the situation, emphasizing the lasting impact of trauma. In his words, grief changes shape, but it never ends. People have a misconception that you can deal with it and say, it's gone and I'm better. They're wrong. And... Lest we forget, Connie West once hinted at the dark side of Hollywood, saying, Trauma and grief is how the Hollywood elites control people and use them for their own advantage. Around Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. It feels like there might be a lot of that in order to control. Traumatize people. They want to monetize and traumatize. Sounds like some shady dealings are afoot, doesn't it? Well, darling, this isn't the first time Hollywood's glitzy exterior has been cracked to reveal some less than stellar intentions charity scandals. Oh honey, Hollywood's had its fair share. Remember back in 2010 when Wyclef Jean's foundation, Yelly Haiti, was under scrutiny for mismanagement of funds intended for earthquake relief in Haiti? Turns out, a hefty chunk of the donations went to the organization's own expenses, raising more than a few eyebrows. And who can forget when Lizzie Lohan tried to raise funds for her own charity? But an investigation revealed almost none of the funds were used for charitable works. The glitz and glamour can often mask what's really going on beneath the surface. Now, shifting our focus back to Maui, we tapped into the pulse of the locals and let's just say the vibes were mixed. A local shop owner, Maria, told us, it's great when celebrities bring attention to our issues, but sometimes it feels like they're using our suffering to polish their image. And Kimo, a lifelong Lahaina resident, added, it's not all bad. Some celebrities genuinely want to help, but we can sense when it's authentic and when it's just for the cameras. The consensus, gratitude for genuine help, but a hefty dose of skepticism for those just trying to nab a pure win. Speaking of image, isn't it intriguing how Hollywood paints such a picture, perfect view of our beloved stars? But what's broadcasted isn't always the gospel truth. For instance, while many celebrities post pictures of their philanthropic escapades on Instagram, insider sources often spill the tea about their less than generous behavior off the grid. It's like the age old adage goes, not everything that glitters in Hollywood is gold. Remember the time when a prominent actress, Angelina Jolie, promised a considerable donation to a well-known children's charity, only for it to emerge that the hefty sum was nearly a fraction of her monthly shopping budget? And the camera crews that conveniently appear just when a star is doing something noble, but are absent when they're throwing diva tantrums on sets. Sweetie, the difference between Hollywood's image and reality is as vast as the Pacific. Spill the tea, honey, because the fans are not holding back. We delve deep into the YouTube comment section, the digital coliseum of today's age, and boy, was it buzzing with opinions and hot takes on the entire fiasco. The fans, they always know, and they never shy away from speaking their minds. First on the docket is a scorching comment which read, Oprah didn't amass billions of dollars by being benevolent. She's all about her own fame, power, and wealth. Shame on you, Oprah. Ouch. Seems like some fans believe that Oprah's empire wasn't exactly built on altruism alone. Next up, another zinger from the audience. And this one's all about the numbers. The lie that 100 was going directly to the residents, but with ridiculously high administrative costs, proves it's a scam. Disgusting. A classic case of action speaking louder than words, perhaps. When promises and pie charts don't add up, fans are quick to cry foul. The overwhelming sentiment seems to be one of disappointment, especially given the scale of the promise, especially given the scale of the promise initially made. Lastly, and perhaps most poignantly, another user chimed in with a balanced take. Oprah isn't obligated to donate her own money. This is true, but she shouldn't ask those who are having it hard to donate either. If she cares so much, she has the ability to do it herself. It seems some believe that with great power and wealth comes great responsibility, and there's an expectation for Oprah to rise to that challenge. In the vast digital arena that is the YouTube comments section, it's clear that fans aren't just past spectators. They're active, engaged, and deeply opinionated, often serving as the moral compass when the stars go astray. Their voice, sometimes critical, sometimes supportive, ensures that the story never has just one side. And there you have it, folks. The glitz, the glamour, and the not so glamorous side of Hollywood all under one digital roof. But now, we turn the mic over to you. What do you make of all this? 
Do you think Oprah and Dwayne will redeem themselves? Or is the damage done? Hit up the comments below and share your thoughts. We've got a lot more sizzling stories coming your way. And trust us, you don't want to miss out.